This Whitetail Factor video blog is all about our friends and family picking up their cameras and doing their best to tell their true-to-life hunting adventure. Hey folks, this is uh, Scott Robertson. Uh, I'm the owner of Mastin's Deer Sense. I'm uh, down here in southern Ohio hunting uh, with Mark Moore, uh, the director of Focus Outdoor Ministries. Um, we come down here on this power line uh, the last three years. This is our third year yeah. down here. It's our third year. And, uh, so we've, I was able to, to harvest a bird uh, the first year. Mark was able to get one the second year, I believe it was. Yeah. And, um, and then uh, we'll see what we can have happen here today. Uh, we were in here yesterday, um, had a hen come up over. And, um, man, she was real aggressive. She was um, she, sassy. She was fun to watch. And um, so we're going to gonna sit here. We've heard them hammering uh, in front of us and then in, in back. So we're, we're surrounded by them this morning. But uh, as you can see, we got a, a strutter uh, decoy out there um, with two hens and, and a jake. So we're going to sit here, give it a whirl, and uh, see what happens. But uh, thanks for joining us. Well, folks, as you can see, uh, we were uh, blessed to be able to harvest this uh, two-year-old bird. Um, the footage was quick. Man, those birds, we had no clue they were coming. Uh, they didn't hammer until they, they were probably 30 yards behind us. And uh, it was just quick getting ready and getting set up. But uh, it was exciting. It was fun. Um, we got to spend a, a really great day in, in God's creation. You couldn't ask for a more beautiful day. But, uh, you know, we lost a, a good friend not too long ago, uh, Brad Crawford uh, from Bee Hunt uh, Game Calls. And, uh, you know, Mark and I are both sporting our Bee Hunt hats and just uh, really miss him and uh, just thankful to, to be able to be his friend. But uh, it was just a, a good time yeah. in the woods today. Just a great time. We actually used some Bee Hunt calls to bring these birds in. <laughs> Uh, use their mouth calls and uh, their uh, glass call and uh, came in, they came in quick. Before we knew it, they were running right beside our blind and straight to our strutter decoy. Uh, had a, had a, a, a kind of a funny episode there in the blind. Uh, as he shot, I tried to shoot at the same time and I fell off my chair and uh, hit the tripod. So you're gonna see the footage kind of shake a little bit maybe, but. We got the, the harvest on film, and uh, like Scott said, uh, you know, Brad was a great friend of ours, uh, meant a lot to me and, and the ministry that I do, and uh, just uh, was a great encourager. And uh, we were able to uh, come out here today, have a great day in the Lord, and uh, use some bee hunt calls to call in four big long beards. So it's great that uh, you tuned in, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the hunt and we still got birds gobbling right behind us. Mm -hmm. So uh, stay tuned, never know what's gonna happen next. Today's May 2nd, we're gonna give this another go. Um, it's pretty windy out there, so we'll see. So wish me luck.
so he came out where we thought he was going to come out, but um, he ended up going over the hill a little bit, and it was way too far. So, you know, Joe kept telling me to, to wait, to hold off, and I'm freaking out a little bit, trying to get adjusted, and um, ended up putting him down. So he's a beautiful bird. He came out and displayed really nice. He was fully committed to the decoys. So we just had to wait for him to get within range, and uh, it was really cool. Yeah, very excited. Yep, again, it's May 2nd. Um, second bird I've ever shot. Um, didn't have to call it in. He popped out right where Joe thought he would, and um, he strutted around, came straight for the decoys, and um, yeah, shot him. So it's a good day, good morning. It's early, so I'm happy about that.